Well, let's get started with the simple question that needs to be answered right up front. Exactly what is Active Directory? And um, Active Directory is quite simply a database. Now, it's a distributed database, meaning it's stored in multiple places, and it's a multi-master database. That means I can make changes in most instances. Notice I said most instances. We'll talk about those exceptions later. But I can make a change at any one location of the database, and it will automatically be replicated around to the other locations. Now, in this database, we're going to store information about all of our users, all of our security groups, and all of our computers. Predominantly, there are some other little things that will get stored we'll talk about later. But what's happened here, and let me draw you a little diagram. This is going to be a little crude. I've got a new mouse that's hard to use, too, so I'll just make all kinds of excuses. But I want to draw just a little crude diagram here. I've got a server, and I load Active Directory, okay? And so Active Directory is a database. And notice I'm going to draw a little hard disk here, okay? That's a hard disk, believe it or not, okay? Now, I have all these computers out in my domain, if you will, and I have grouped all these computers into a domain, and now I want to administer them centrally, okay? And so what I'm going to do is create an Active Directory database here, and this will contain information about every one of these computers and every one of the users that log on to these computers and so forth. And it is all stored, actually my arrows should probably go the other way, it's all stored in this one Active Directory database. And so I can take care of security on this database and so forth. Then I can add another server later on, and I can put a copy of that Active Directory database on this server as well. And then users can connect to this server and get my Active Directory information. And Active Directory between these two copies will replicate and keep itself up to date on both sides. Okay, so that's what Active Directory is storing, information about all my users, my security groups, and computers. Think about that for the users. Users have logon names. They have passwords, addresses, managers they report to, zip codes, all that sort of thing. So once we've got all that information in the Active Directory database, now Active Directory can start to perform some functionalities for us. First of all, it can authenticate users and computers. When a user tries to get onto the system, they have to give us a username and a password. And that's checked against Active Directory to see if the person knew that shared secret between the user and Active Directory. Same for computers. Access control. Uh, we can, once they log on, we can now say, okay, so I know who you are, but now what can you do here? What folders can you open and what files can you open and what folders and files can you not open and I'll prevent them from the happening. So that's another thing Active Directory does. Next thing is auditing functionality. It will help us watch and see what's happening in Active Directory. If I see that you are constantly trying to open folders that you don't have permissions to, it's either a training opportunity because you're confused or there's a security problem. You're trying to go places that you're not supposed to go. Now let's talk about some terms in Active Directory. First of all, there is Active Directory. You'll see AD. Obviously, that means Active Directory. You will also see ADDS out there. That means Active Directory Domain Services. We'll talk about those in other places in the video. IDA is one that's just recently popped up for me. It could have been out there for months and I've been asleep. But uh, I've noticed just in the server 2008, we have really seen this in the Microsoft world, and it means identity and access. Active Directory is an IDA system, or it provides IDA functionalities or services. LDS talks about uh, lightweight directory services. We will talk about those later on in the video, but I just wanted you to know what you're seeing or hearing when you see these acronyms used out there. And then ADCS, this is Active Directory Certificate Services. You will hear that one as well. And that has that whole idea about public-private key encryption and certificates to identify and to provide that third-party validation and so forth. We'll talk about that as well later on in the course. So that's a rough overview of Active Directory. Now, in the next couple of videos, I'll draw some animations about Active Directory, help you understand the various pieces and parts of it, and then we'll jump into some of the functionalities and some of the things that you're going to be tested on on this exam uh, 7640, uh, configuring Active Directory in a Windows Server 2008 environment.